This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Wednesday, November 11th, 2020. Yesterday, um, I got to uh, announce that the UUA granted me full fellowship, and that was that was a lot of fun. Um, it's been a it's been a celebratory. Uh, week over the last couple days. I do uh, feel like I do need to say one thing about um, the the very, very kind words that um, Reverend Pupke had uh, for me yesterday. Uh, and it's and it's simply this. I know um, I know most of the ministers of my generation in the UUA and and there are extraordinary, extraordinary ministers uh, across the country. Uh, of my generation, um, and it is it is uh, an honor to be counted among them. Um, yeah, um, and it's it's the honor of a lifetime to serve at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln and to be able to uh, get up on a on a Wednesday afternoon in the midst of a global pandemic and hit record on a camera and think maybe somebody ha wants to to hear what I have to say. It's, it's really, um, you know, for all the difficulty and challenge, um, it's a remarkable life. It's a remarkable life that we, that we all get to live. Um, yeah. Uh, as far as specifics of that remarkable life, Wednesday are, is usually my writing day in the midst of the pandemic. It's, it's when I start to realize that I've got to record, uh, soon, um, because, because we've got to edit a service together for Sunday. Um, often I have these topics picked out far in advance. Um, you know, we have, we have the topic set for the second week of December all the way back in June, usually. Um, but this year, uh, November of 2020 was really a blank spot on our, um, on our worship calendar because we didn't know what was going to happen. Um, so we, we allowed, uh, ourselves some grace to set the worship plan as, uh, as needs be. So this is where I am on the Wednesday that I'm starting to sit down and, uh, and write for this Sunday. The last week um, has been one of celebration for many folks who are Democrats. Um, and while the Unitarian Universalist Church is, is explicitly a liberal church, it's explicitly theologically liberal. It's not explicitly politically liberal, although the, the Venn diagram of progressive folks and Unitarian Universalist folks has a fairly large overlap, but but our project is not the project of the Democratic Party. It, it never really has been, and it can't be. We are a separate thing. We are people of faith with uh, a vision that in some ways trans transcends transactional politics. The beloved community is in, in some ways and sometimes about policy, but it's also about deep, meaningful change and transformation of all of society. And so what that means practically um, is that we've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> we've still got a lot of work to do. Um, and so that's, that's where we are now. You know, the, the election is over, um, but our work in some ways is just beginning. Um, it would be real easy to be complacent now, um, but we cannot do that. We cannot be complacent and we cannot stop the work of building a world of justice and love. So that's what we're going to talk about on Sunday. Um, I'll have it written down by then, but for right now, uh, that's where I am. Um, there's a board meeting tonight. Uh, we're looking at the budget. Uh, many, many, many thanks to everybody that pledged uh, this year or donated uh, in, in many ways. And we'll hopefully have some more detail to, to send out to the congregation in the coming days about that. Have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>